So this is how I started started starting my day. It's reading, it's coffee. These things I actually marked down. God damn it, no, I don't have a hand free. Okay, coffee, you go here. Please don't fall down. These things I actually marked down and didn't just do it for the for the vlog. Then I take notes. I have two notebooks. You know, just trying to be a a good member of society here. Well, on the opposite, Jay is still over there laying in his bed, doing nothing. Hey Jay, when are you thinking you're gonna get up? <laughs> There's no comment coming from him. Huh? When are you getting up, Jay? Five minutes. Five minutes? Mm -hmm. You said that five minutes ago. Why don't you get up now? What's different in five minutes than to now? That's a classic procrastinator here. If we look down, symptoms of lack of persistence. Point number seven is, um, oh no, point number two is procrastination with or without cause, usually backed up with a formidable array of alibis and excuses. Hey Jay, what are your alibis and excuses to not be getting up? Quick update. Oh, I thought he was getting up. <laughs> Jay actually got up after three and a half minutes. No, after one and a half minutes and not five minutes. That's an incredible feat, Jay. I'm very proud of you. That's the power of your noise. <laughs> <laughs> one more update. Jay didn't actually get up. He just switched locations. You're doing a very good job with this, Jay. Can I can I talk to the vlog now? Yeah, sure. Talk to the vlog. What so, do you have on your on your mind? So on your Finn sleepy is talking mind? about procrastination, right? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I don't want to get up. Yeah. But then again, he should be reading and minding his own, his own damn business. But no, instead, he's procrastinated. But I don't so even hear what you're saying I'm reading right now. My okay, plan with okay. this is I'm, I'm going to passively aggressive, passive aggressively judge you very hard for not getting up. So everyone who watches the vlog will always get up. That's my plan with this. Because they're like, I don't want to be Jay. Which makes sense if you think about it. And then they say, oh, wait. I don't want... This <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jay actually got up. Where is he now? Oh, wait, what is that? Hey, honey. Shit, now I can't put my coffee anywhere again. Can you hold this for a second, Jay? Nope. Come on. Hold this coffee for a second. Thanks. Now I can do it. Hey, honey. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my coffee. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to the point, I don't get why people would think we're gay. We're just a very cute couple. It's bromance, bro. Bromance? So I just read something and I think it's so, so, so true. And as I read it, it actually became more true. So I just wanted to point it out and it's, it's, what I marked down here, most ideas are still born and need the breath of life injected into them through definite plans and immediate action. The time to nurse an idea is at the time of its birth. Every minute it lives gives it a better chance of surviving. And looking like I have a notebook of I don't know how many notes of random ideas I once had that could be like content ideas, like a video I want to make about a certain topic that can be ideas for a business that can be ideas for, you know, things I want to do. And I like, I sometimes go through these things and like nothing happens because if you have the, like ideas are so easy to have, but to actually execute them is like the actual part. And so if, if you don't, you have to, if you have an idea, you have to immediately take the first action step of like realizing that idea that comes with any idea you have. Like if you have the idea, you know, to start a business or to, you know, start traveling somewhere, like start 
making just the very first tiny step. Like if you decide like, it would be a cool idea to, you know, um, to go to Hong Kong, then don't just write down somewhere, go to Hong Kong at some point, but start with, you know, maybe putting down, looking at your calendar and planning when might be a good time to go to Hong Kong or go on the internet and figure out like how to get a visa for Hong Kong. Like just small things. You don't have to put everything into action right away, but just like the very first action step, um, that makes a big difference of whether like all the ideas you have actually, you know, become a reality. And now looking back at all the things that I did, I realized that I made the same mistake, right? So that's also, that's partly the reason why I'm excited of this, about this vlog, because I can just, there, I don't have to think about, okay, cool, if I make this video now, when I'm gonna post it, where am I gonna post it? I just have this vlog, it's daily. And so whenever I, I have an idea, I just, you know, randomly record it and it's gonna be on that day. That's the context, it's that day, it's that moment. If you have an idea, just try to right away put into action or make the first action step towards realizing it, even if it's just a tiny, tiny step. Okay, one more insight. So after I recorded that part, that was literally four and a half minutes of me talking about a pretty simple insight and I'm probably cut out more than half of that part and I realized a bad habit that I, I have is I keep I start rambling on things and just repeating it twice and, and three times over and trying to find more and more examples. And so I just wrote down like three points of why I think I ramble. Number one, I think people are, people are dumber than they actually think. So I should start thinking that people are actually smarter than, than I think. So it doesn't mean I have to repeat my things three times so they get it. Most people get it after saying it the first time then don't second guess myself whether I'm explaining it in the best way because that's just the way I'm explaining it in the moment and that's the best way I can do at the moment. And then I don't, shouldn't feel like that. One most misconception I have is that I think to, for it to be a real insight and to have real um, value for people, it can't be like a 30 second clip because well then it's just 30 seconds. How can that be an actual insight? But that's obviously not true. So if I can bring the point across in 30 seconds, 30 seconds is the perfect time. So gotta stop rambling from now on. I'm pretty sure I just found the best thing ever. So do you guys know how you sometimes like use Facebook for like productive things? Like you wanna look something up or like a tutorial or whatever. And so you open YouTube for that productive thing and then there's the home feed and there are video recommendations. And so you see a video that sparks your eye and you're like, oh, this looks like an interesting video. I'm just gonna, you know, quickly watch this five minute video. It's not gonna do anything, you know, and then you watch the five minute video and then there are recommendations on the side. So you click on the next video and then somehow you end up for six hours watching YouTube videos and ending up watching cat videos. Everyone knows that experience. So look at this. This is Facebook. There's nothing there. See, if I load it, boom, gone. So there's a plugin called, um, let's see, it's called Remove Recommendations YouTube VK Facebook. So what it does for you, it literally eradicates your home feed. So now you don't even get the idea to do anything unproductive. You just go here and Google your things. Wake up, Lewis. Why did I look up that? I don't even remember. God is in the neuros. Brian Johnson. These are so old. Holy shit. But yeah, if you want to, you know, not get distracted so easily, use that thing. We are leaving in two hours for Brussels. We're actually going to take the overnight bus um, from Bremen to Brussels. But that also means I can do one of my favorite activities, which is packing. It's not one of my favorite activities. How much do I take? Do I take one pair of underwear or two? That's the big question. Probably take two. Yeah, let's take two actually. That, let's be a bit generous. I mean, you never know what happens to the first pair. So <clears throat> I'll probably never use it, but just as a backup. So it's not mal. Tschüss. Bye bye. 
come on you. <laughs> I guess. So we are now within the confines of the bus. We're on our way to Brussels. Still with this person. Um, but you know how um, how Edison used to say the grind never stops. So I'm editing the vlog now. I'm gonna finish that and then actually trying to sleep on this bus because we're gonna arrive at 7 a.m. in the morning. And so there probably won't be much, you know, much time to sleep in Brussels. So I'm gonna finish this and then sleep or whatever, you know. Peace. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing.